Bonnie, happy Monday! I am back. I have one more review for you today. I have not yet reviewed the Kringle Candle Beautiful Day, which is part of the new spring summer collection. I've actually burned this candle, and check it out. I'm currently um, melting uh, the wax in my Yankee LED uh, wax melter here. I'm so excited. I've actually been using my wax melter a lot lately with these new Kringle scents, and I've really been enjoying them. So if you're just joining me, I am a Kringle candle ambassador, which means the Kringle candle does send me preview candles like the cannabis candle, which is still available. Which candle is going to be next in the reserve collection? I literally cannot wait for that. Um, it also means that if you use my code Queen Geek, you're going to get 15% off. So now on the new spring summer line from Kringle, they've been kind of doing a trio of new candles for 20% off. So last time they did Neapolitan Sunday, they did Strawberry Mint Tart, and they did Spiral Aloe, which is I think the only one I have not reviewed yet. This time they're doing 20% off on like three of my favorite scents. They're doing Beautiful Day, Watermelon Pops, which, whoa, can I tell you how much I love Watermelon Pops? Um, and Succulents, which I love too. I really love that Succulents candle. Beautiful Day. Um, I've kind of waited a little bit to review this one because it's a little bit difficult to describe because it's an interesting mix of floral and fruit. It's not a super strong candle, but it's a powerful candle, if that makes sense. I'm going to explain what I'm talking about in a minute. So it's this beautiful day. Wake up to the warmth of golden amber as the sun touches your skin and energizes yourself with hints of ripe guava, lemon zest, as you gaze out the window, manifesting the beautiful day ahead. The scent notes in this one are lemon guava silamon, sugarcane pink tulip jasmine apricot with a base of amber and vanilla cream so this candle is really confusing so when a lot of people hear amber they think it's going to be like that really strong deep scent it's not that at all i actually don't even get the amber in this one I get the vanilla cream more as a base. I have a feeling that the amber was like a secondary scent in the base. I get the lemon. I get the guava. I get the sugar cane. I'm not sure what Silomon is. I have to look that one up. I think it's a flower. Let me look. Is Silomon a flower? I got to look that up really quick. Um, I want to say it's a plant. It's a plant. That's what I thought. So it's like a little floral going on there. Um, jasmine. And apricot. So the fruity floral mix is really what you're getting in this one. When I smell it, just cold, I'm getting more of the lemon and the guava. Kindle actually smells a lot stronger to me on cold than the wax melts. Um, the wax melts definitely smell a lot. Um, a lot lighter. I'm not getting a lot of smell on this cold. However, now that I'm melting it in my wax melter, the scents are starting to come out. So what's interesting about this scent is this is one that you're not going to want to use when you want a powerhouse scent. But it's like if you want a background, like background music. <laughs> It's a wonderful background music. You get a little bit of lemon, you get a little bit of guava, you get a little bit of floral. It's not overpowering. This is a candle that I would light if I was having, um, you know, a couple of people over and I didn't want to just overwhelm them. Because sometimes when you invite people over your house, you don't know who likes what scent. You don't know if a scent's going to bother someone. I feel like this is like the perfect party background candle because... Um, it doesn't overpower a room, but it has a really powerful, beautiful aroma. Like, I, I have a feeling that if people walked into your house and this was burning, they'd go, boy, your house smells amazing. <laughs> Which is, isn't that what we want? We want people to think our house smells good and not like, um, you know, french fries or dog poop. 
know, you want your house to smell good. <laughs> so um, yeah, this this uh, this candle definitely does um, does its job in filling the house with a very muted floral fruity scent, which I like. I absolutely like this. I had this one going for quite a while the other day um, in the kitchen, and I walked in. And I'm like, this just smells relaxing. This just makes me happy. <laughs> So um, I like it, but just remember though, if you're going to order this one, um, you might want to try the medium if you're not sure. Like if you really want a, a strong, strong throw, um, you might want to try a different one. But if you're really interested in trying this really unique uh, fruity floral blend, um, give it a try. I'm actually, like I said, melting it right now. And um, this is on my desk. It's not overpowering, but it's giving off a nice soft aroma and um, it's making me happy and the sun just came out so all is good and the dog didn't poop on the floor today so <laughs> it's even a better day my house smells good <laughs> so anyway um if you have this one definitely um let me know what you think i'm curious to see if uh anyone likes this one as much as me and um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna give this one about I'm going to this one like an 8.7. Like I said, a little low on the throw. Beautiful aroma. Makes a wonderful background candle. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Kringle Candle for having me as an ambassador. And don't forget to use the code QueenGeek for 15% off. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.